Ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy Bronx Reefer Brock, and this is the Gold Rim Tang. Also known as the white cheek surgeon fish, the Gold Rim Tang is found in the Indo-Pacific Hawaii region. Being one of the smaller tangs, it is also one of the more aggressive tangs in the industry. Here you see the Gold Rim Tang in my quarantine tank, where I kept him for about three weeks and you can see the colors are stunning. Now the gold rim tang is strikingly similar to the powder brown tang, except for the white stripe that's under its eye as opposed to the powder brown, which has a white stripe that slopes downward on its front facing. After the quarantine period, I decided to introduce the gold rim tang to the rest of my tangs in my 75 display tank. Of course, the purple tang decided to show the gold rim tang, who's boss, because the purple tang does run this tank at this time. But daily life is generally peaceful. So one of the easiest ways to diminish tang aggression in tanks, or in, in general any type of fish, is one of the oldest tricks in the book, and that's using a mirror. Using a mirror to limit fish aggression simply provides the fish with a common enemy, and that's their own reflection. So while they will spar with each other over dominance and over initiating the new guy, their attention will quickly be drawn to their own reflections. And they will take the appearance of their own reflections as a threat. So once the purple tang let its dominance be known to the gold rim tang as to who was running this tank, the other fish, the hippo tang, the coral beauty, uh, of course, the damsels all came by to let the gold rim tang know that we have a peaceful community here. We, we're not looking for any trouble and that you need to find some real estate at the other end of the tank. One of the other methods to limiting tang aggression is to make sure everyone is well fed. Now, the gold rim tang, as, as all of my tangs, uh, is a herbivore. And I provide plenty of nori seaweed sheets to them daily. Um, it doesn't have to be daily, but at least three times a week they should be having some kind of seaweed. Uh, they do eat pellets and flakes and anything else, mice, anything else I put in the tank, uh, the tangs basically take part in. So as long as everyone is well fed and you can keep your nutrients down without having an algae bloom or an outbreak, Feed as much as you can to these guys to keep them happy, healthy, and stress-free. That will limit the aggression or any other problems. Next thing is, of course, is to make sure your water parameters remain stable. The gold rim tang, just like any other tang, is highly susceptible to ick and to a lot of other marine diseases. They need plenty of hiding spaces, place to sleep, and of course, lots of swimming room. So it's recommended that the tank size should be at least 120, 125. Currently, I have this, I have a selection of tanks actually in a 75 gallon, and they seem to be doing very well together. Uh, I do plan on upgrading at some point, but for now, these guys get along great. And shortly after this video was made, these two became best friends. They're inseparable at this point. Once fully acclimated, the gold rim tang is a good neighbor. Uh, the rest of the fish get along well with them. They're very happy. No one's intimidated. There are no fights, no outbreaks. Everyone's doing well. The corals are doing great. In closing, I do recommend that you try some of these acclimation techniques. And if you can find a gold rim tang, it's a great alternative to a powder brown or a powder blue. That's a beautiful fish. This is your boy Bronx Reefer Brock signing out. Peace.